on in this section at the final uh, videos of the introduction to Python uh, for the visualization and data analytics. We'll move on to see how we could create the animated visualization for the dynamics or time dependent data sets. So make sure you click on the next page here. Uh, <clears throat> in order to show the time dependency or dynamics, we could just combine different frames and show the final visualization as an animated uh, plot. Uh, first, similar to the previous section, you need to load the modules. In this section, we use a random generated data in comparison to the previous data set that we used, but you can just use whatever data set that you have or just replace it with the breast cancer data set or even your custom data set that you have. But here, for just showing the capability of the animated uh, <coughs> features of the Seaboard and Matplotlib, uh, we use the random generated data. <coughs> then we get the data and store them in the x, y variables and we create a grid based on the x and y. Then we define the x and y axis to just uh, make them animated. And finally this animate uh, uh, graph would uh, replace different uh, uh, frames that we have. And finally, based on the matplotlib animation, funk animation, we could just create uh, the animation plot that we want to create based on the random data that we generated. But you could just replace that with any other data set. Here, it just shows the density or the KD plot that we had even for uh, the breast cancer data set. And it also shows uh, the distribution in the X and Y axis for different time frames. And you see that how different time frames are changed in this animation. So it's like you have different time frames for your data set and you want to see based on the different or dynamic of your data how this density of the points would be changed in the 2D plots. So that's the example of how you could use the animation capabilities of the Matplotlib and Seaborg. Uh, at the end, you could find the uh, final uh, notebook to reproduce this visualization. If you come here, I briefly go over uh, the steps. As I said, you need to uh, load the modules, define the random data, and get the data and put them into the uh, joint grid to create a 2D plot, define the X and Y axis, and then create the animation based on the this plot for the KD plot and define the frames and also finally create the animation. So that's the final visualization that you could see and you could just replace this random data with your own custom data set. That would be useful for exercising and using other data sets and see how you could create the visualization. So at the end, make sure you, if you go through all the materials in this workshop, make sure you send the visualization to my email address shown again here in our first page as the yousefi at clemson.edu. And thank you so much for your attention and watching our movies and your interest in data visualization. Thank you so much.